So this is uh, my Texan PL660, which has um, <coughs> air band on it. Now, a lot of the time, the air band isn't um, very clear on it. Um, I'm only about 20 kilometers from Dublin Airport here, which is, you know, it's a big enough international airport. Um, and I've struggled a lot of times to get signals from it. <coughs> uh, this is the tower frequency. Um, uh, or sorry, Dublin approach frequency is uh, uh, 121, uh, 0.1 um, megahertz. Uh, but actually this morning it's um, coming in pretty clear. Um, but this is a um, an antenna that we use for the TV. Um, so I was just gonna try that and see if it improves um, matters. So plug that in there. Okay, so let's so set up the full power there. It's a powered one. So yeah, so <clears throat> seems to be working quite well. Um, I think conditions are just generally better today for some reason for for air band. Um, but generally, um, uh, it's pretty poor. Um, could be just a situation in my house rather than the airport. But I have this list of local airband frequencies. So I'm going to give those a go because um, I've never picked up any of the other ones. I've always got Dublin Airport. I've always got Dublin Airport, but very faint. So, one two two point eight megahertz. I don't know what that is. Sounds automated. Maybe some of you airband guys can let me know. Well, that's impressive. So one twenty nine point one. Is London approach, London control, sorry. Well, I don't know where that's broadcast from, or is, is there like a repeater or a relay here in Ireland for that? Okay, so <clears throat> conclusion from this messing around. So this is a, what's it called? An all-in-one. Uh, it's a UHF, VHF antenna. Uh, where is it? Zoom in on that, sorry, no. Or one for all. Yeah, so I bought that for um, uh, free to air TV, you know, when the it was all switched over to digital um, for the TV, obviously. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so the reason, yeah, I was kind of looking at Lee Locke's stuff, I Lee, um, and he was saying about that he had his. Um, radios patched up to the satellite dish out the back um, and now I couldn't be bothered getting up on a ladder and doing something like that but um, not at the moment um, but I did have this uh, indoor um, uh, aerial so I said I'd give it a go um, on the airband and uh, I suppose the conclusion is uh, that it does seem to work um, it's definitely an improvement what I've been able to receive um, uh, locally here anyway um, you know so I suppose 
if you have a, a small radio at home um, that has a, a airband on it um, and you know you want to spend uh, not a lot of extra money or you might have one of these antenna lying around the house you can just plug it directly into your radio without the necessity of sort of having to go and buy a, a dedicated scanner if you just don't want to make that type of investment you can just marry the two things up um, and it seems to be pretty effective um, and as you can see there um, I didn't spend a lot of time on it but I definitely picked up signals that I, I've never heard before just using the airband and my own long wire antenna out the back which in fairness is more geared towards um, you know HF and that kind of thing um, <clears throat> so anyway that's it just a little bit of messing around this morning okay take care bye